Hello everyone, I'm Stefan Batifo, I'm a developer advocate at Milvis, and today I'm here to talk to you about um, our new web UI. So in Milvis 2.5, we introduced a new UI that you can use to manage Milvis which can be very useful to know if your cluster is doing fine, if you have some slow queries or anything. The best part is that it is fully built in directly in Milvis, which means you don't have to install anything. You will have it directly out of the box with Milvis 2.5. So let me show you quickly. So I'm going to go the web UI that I have. So it's a localhost. 1991 slash web UI. So I arrive and then I arrive here on the home page and you can see, you know, I have some system information. So, but like, you know, which uh, deployment I've, I've used, which is a build that I'm using, you know, and like for how long has it been uh, running. But then you also have more statistics. So you can have a quick look, you know, into looking like into the different nodes to see if they're healthy or not. So then you'll see them directly here in the node status. So that can be very useful when you know you just want to have a quick glance uh, at your cluster to see if it's working and if it's healthy then you can also have a look at the connected clients that way you can see oh do we have one that is running with like an outdated sdk you know imagine you have a server running somewhere that is using milvus maybe using like you know a very old version that way you can see what is running you can also check to see if your system dependencies are healthy as well so you know etcd and RobitMQ are like fine that way you know you can really have an idea of like is everything else healthy then we have more things so we have a connection tab so in this connection you can see the database and you can also see the different connections that you have so then you know like this one i'm just showing the default database because i only have one but then here i have two collections so i can see that the collection that is called demo is 100 percent loaded so i can query it uh, and then actually it's written here is it queryable or not then you have some different information, like you have the different fields that you have as well in your collection, so that can also be useful. Same for the second one. I can check if it's loaded or not, and I can check if it's growable. So those are very, very helpful. I can also check the different queries, like checking if my segment I sealed or if they're growing. That way I might have an idea um, if something is slow or do I need to wait a bit per or is my segment sealed and therefore immutable or is it a growing segment? You can also check the different replicas, like do you have read-write replicas or read-only replicas. Um, and you can also check the different resource groups. Same for the data. You can check the number of rows you have directly, and then it's like if it's flushed or if it's growing or if you dropped it or something. So that can be like very useful. Same for the tasks. So the task can be very useful as like, okay, maybe your query coordinator is like, you know, doing a task or maybe you have a compaction that is happening at the moment, you know. So those, uh, if it happens, then it will be shown as well. Um, maybe you can also like check, you know, like you're building an index. So you can check, you know, like the task for index building because it might have an impact um, on some performances, you know, for Milvis. Or maybe you're importing some data or you're trying to sync something. So, you know, those uh, can also be very useful. Um, and that way you have like an idea directly. You, can, you don't have like to build anything. You don't have to use the CLI. You can just check uh, in the UI. We also have something like slow requests. So you can have a look. Uh, you can see uh, the requests that have been defined and they've been called slow. That way, you know, you might have an idea of like, okay, what's happening here? Maybe I have something wrong with my collection. Maybe something is happening behind the scene. That way you can have a better idea. And also, you know, maybe you're like thinking, oh yeah, what's the configuration I'm using for Milvis? Then you can just like do it. You know, you can like search for attributes. We're going to list everything that is available. So that way that can be very useful. You also have more tools, you know, that can be used for debugging purposes. I invite you to check out documentation directly. So it's on milvis.io. And then you can go for the web UI documentation as well. And then we'll also like talk about it and how to use it. And yeah, don't hesitate to contact us on socials, join our Discord, check our website milvis.io or zillis.com if you want to check out Zillis Cloud. And that was Stefan. Thank you.